This is for anyone getting started. Uh, first of all, there is no relationship between being good at what you do and getting paid. You may be very good at what you do, it doesn't mean you get paid. There's a huge relationship between being good at what you do and being able to sell and getting paid. So as much as you have value, let's say you can create value for people, but if you don't know how to articulate that value, people won't buy. This is why the communication is so key. So in the beginning, what you want is just exposure. You want a lot of people to experience what you do. Some of them, now by the way, some of them will take advantage of you. But some of them will be kind enough, hey, let me, let me open up the network for you. What you want as a young guy is this, is you want whoever is more successful. How do you know you're doing it right? When they say to you, Ki, you remind me when I was young. That's when you know you got it. Then they will give you the opportunities, right? Because wealth is not created, wealth is transferred. Write this down. Wealth is not created, wealth is transferred. So when I was getting started, people always told me I was too young, right? Because my clients, like much, much older, I was 20 somewhat years old, right? So they always say, right, this is for young, young people, you're too young, you're too young, you're too young, and you're too young, and suddenly you're too old. <laughs> You notice that? Like, what is the perfect age? Is it 30, is it 35? Like, a, oh, you're too young, no, I'm just, you're too young, you're too young, and suddenly you're too old. So don't buy into that. What they care, like I was in my early 20s, I would talk to them, and yes, initially, by the way, I did make that kind of offer and say, hey, you know what, let me do the work. I'm a young guy, I'm trying to build my business. I won't charge a whole lot. Let me just get started, build my portfolio and I worked hard, right? How many of you are introvert? Introvert, okay? How many of you are extrovert? You see the introvert. Mm. <laughs> right? How many of you are extrovert? You see the extrovert, yeah, that's me, that's me, right? Okay, uh, I'm an ambivert. So meaning I'm introvert in nature, but I could be extrovert in front of comfortable setting. So uh, I am perfectly comfortable at home, not talking to anybody and just doing my thing, right? Uh, at the same time, like I could talk to people at the same time. So what I've learned is the ability, which is something I teach, but to articulate your value to sell. So whatever you want, someone else has already got it. They have the relationship, they have the context, the resources, they have the capital, they have all of that, all everything you need. We need to develop the ability to persuade influence and sell them on why they should let us use those things. Costs nothing. This costs nothing and you can develop it, because I developed it. And when you can talk to people and communicate in such a way that they want to do business with you, then, then you win. Business is all about this. It's all your communication skill. So there's no relationship between being good at what you're doing and getting paid, right? But if you are willing to learn and communicate, you would do better. Spend more time on the selling, not the doing. Make sense? Does that help? Yeah. High five. That's awesome. You've already built a thriving business, but the question is, how do you scale fast without burning out? How do you transition out of the day-to-day -day operations so you can make more profits and have more time and freedom? The answer is not some magical software that makes your life easier, and it's not hoping you could outsource all these problems to some agencies. If you want to know the secrets of how the top 0.1% entrepreneurs create high-performing and self-managed teams, join us for our upcoming Smart Challenge. Click the link below to secure your seat today.